Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Colorful, vibrant, unique and mind-blowing are perfect adjectives to describe this amazing home screen by Alex T. I'll be showing you this awesome home screen by Alex T called Swipeable Cards as you can see here. Here is the lock screen, I'm gonna just be unlocking it right now. And now there's something pretty cool about this home screen. It looks quite simple and all. It's got our Google search that we can open up there. It's got our gallery by tapping that picture. As well as these awesome little toggles at the bottom. Let's just see, I can turn on my Wi-Fi just by tapping that button there. Wi-Fi on, just like that. But now, to top it all off, as we can see, swipeable cards, just like that. We've got our weather, we got our music, notifications, frequent apps such as our phone. You can open up our phone, Facebook, whatever you want as well as this awesome RSS, look at that, it's gonna blow your mind, mind blown, and there it is, got your weather there, chilling like that, and finally our music, and back to our notifications, like so. Now this video might be as long as the other Alex T1, so I really want you to focus on this one. You guys wanted longer videos to explain it, so I'm gonna be explaining it to you from the very beginning. Let us begin. Okay, let us see, starting from the very beginning, we'll start off obviously with our go into our menu and we're wanting to go into our apex settings that is the launcher that i'll be using and you want to go into home screen settings portrait grid on a 10 by 9 pretty big i know manage screens you want to have five screens or any amount that you will be how many cards you will, you'll be using next you'll go back into home screen settings you want your margins to be none your transition effect card stack remember that if you want that cool card scrolling ability and always remember wallpaper mode will be multiple screen scrolling. Now, for a Galaxy S2, I'll be using multi-picture live wallpaper, which will be a lot easier to use if you're using a Galaxy S2 or your footage wallpaper to fit your phone correctly. If not, you're gonna be wanting to make your wallpaper mode single screen, non-scrolling, and I'll come to that wallpaper just now. Finally, obviously you wanna hide your notification bar and icon labels. Next, you wanna go into dock settings, you want to hide the dock divider but as you can see we're not hiding the dock and that is because we want to enable widgets in the dock and we'll go back you want to go to advanced settings you want to enable all these widget settings resize any widgets overlapping widgets and then widgets in dock that is because we'll be using widget soid as you can see here in order to enable these are actually widgets in the dock so it's pretty cool also on our behavior settings if we open that up i always like to say home key action to enable to if we want to select that, we want to show app draw. As you can see that there's no physical app draw button, so I just use that to bring up my apps like so. Okay, and then yeah, as I showed you your advanced settings, you want all your widget settings to be ticked. That is our Apex settings complete. Next, and most importantly, we'll be changing our wallpaper. So for here, we'll hold down and choose wallpapers. Now, if you're using a Samsung Galaxy S2, or you have changed your wallpaper to fit your phone perfectly, You'll want to go to live wallpaper and multi-picture live wallpaper and then go settings. Now you want to obviously go add individual settings and then you want to add one, two, three, four and five if you want to have five screens. Next you want to go into say for your screen one settings. You want to go picture source single picture and you want to open obviously your quick pick whichever one you have and then don't forget to copy all that folder that LXT has provided into a folder onto your phone. Because now for what Quick Pick has done is created its own little folder called for multi-picture live wallpaper. So only use this if you're using multi-picture live wallpaper. So as you can see, it's got our five screens in orange or if you want a different five screens in white. So for the first screen, you want to select obviously for one, two, three, four, five. Now you might be thinking, well, what changes in multi-picture live wallpaper? And not much actually. It's actually just the, the page indicator at the bottom here. See if we're swiping it, it shows you what page you're on. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that is our multi-picture live wallpaper setup. And you do it obviously for each one of these settings right here. Transition type, you want it to be none, and then that's it. So you can just go back and you'll go set wallpaper and it'll set five different wallpapers like that. Now, if your wallpaper doesn't fit well for multi-picture live wallpaper, or you just want, don't want to have a live wallpaper, go into, hold down the home screen, go wallpapers, go quick pick wallpaper, Next, so for this you can either choose full multi-picture live wallpaper and just choose any one of these. As you can see it's got orange and white, but obviously there'll be no page indicator, well the page indicator won't scroll. So if you just want to have a single wallpaper, 
I know this fits for the Galaxy S3. I used single wall for this one here. It's if you if you tap it like that and using single picture in your Apex settings, it'll it should look like this with the crop bar like that. But like I said, if it doesn't fit, you might have to use Photoshop to edit your your ratio for your wallpaper. So once you have a wallpaper set up, either using multi-picture live wallpaper like this or just a or just a static wallpaper, we're going to be moving on to our widgets which will be our UCCWs. Now all the UCCWs work in the same way as you can see for here, it's just this block here. So in order just to, I'll just show you quickly how to do it, you'll just hold down your home screen, choose widgets, you want to scroll to UCCW and I always just choose a 5x2 because I can and you want to go open user and hopefully you've copied that folder onto your phone provided by Alex T and for the UCCW you want to go to UCCW output as you can see they are all here you got your apps your lock screen your music the lock screen obviously the one that you saw on your lock screen I'll get to that later and finally you got your music notice which are notifications RSS and weather so say for the weather one you'll just go open and then you just tap that and it will now appear. We can just resize that quite nicely, just like that. So it fits, you just have to resize it to the width and it'll fit like that, hopefully. Obviously, if you have a different screen size, you'll just have to do a few adjustments for it. Frequent apps was a bit tricky, but don't worry, it's quite easy to do. As you can see, the frequent apps is blank. So all I did was here, you'll be able to have a blank screen, so resize it to the top and then just add in, them in as you go, add in the just tap in the app draw menu and then say you want Facebook and then you'll drag it into where the Facebook you want it to be. Once you have done that for all 12 icons or how many ever you want, say for maps, I just you just hold down on the icon and then you go edit and you s tap on the picture, you go select picture, you want to go to, into quick pick or whatever folder you like, look for the orange icons and here are the few to choose from. As you can see you don't have to stick with the ones that are on the screenshot you can choose any one that you would like and remember that's for lock screen that big lock there right there so you just do it for all of these and then once that's done you just go resize the UCC widget over like that and then you hold down on the on the widget and you go send to back just in case it overlaps and that is our frequent apps now for the two widgets at the top here as you can see if you select tap Google opens up our Google and tapping this picture brings up your gallery. That is a simple desktop visualizer. You just hold down your home screen, select widgets. You want to go into desktop visualizer, choose any size. One by one is normally good. As you can see, it's quite tiny now. So you want to hold down, you want to hold down on it, select resize, and then drag it to cover up that picture right there. As you can see, it's quite easy to tap now. So you just select it. Your select icon, that'll be your blank PNG. As you can see, you can't see it because it's blank. Select your launch icon you want, or your launch application. That will be quick pick. And you just clear the label. Touch effects. I normally leave it off. And then you just go OK. And as you can see, tapping that will bring up quick pick. Same goes for Google, except that for your launch application, you want it to be Google, the normal Google application. Great, now you'll have your widgets at the bottom. This will be for our widgets in draw setup. So even though it might look pretty it's a bit tricky to set up but don't worry it's very very simple first thing we want to do we want to hold down choose widgets and there's an awesome widget here called widget soid free don't worry you want a one by one switcher because we'll be switching things on and off so you'll choose a one by one as you can see it looks like this which is not really what you want so you'll just have theme you want to choose background you want that to be no background indicator type you want it to be a circle that is because of those little dots at the bottom. Indicate a color. You're going to custom color. Choose an orange. It's pretty close enough. Now you want to go into toggles. You want to add a toggle. So say, say for GPS, we want to enable GPS. And it shows up quite sexy like that. But now we don't want that icon. So we'll just go into theme. Select hide icons. And as you can see, the, the icon has disappeared. So now, so you might want to go to profiles and then save your current profile just so for the others you can just change what you want to open and then you don't have to go edit all that settings all over again. So you'll just click apply, <laughs> make sure your GPS is on otherwise you won't see the little dots and as you can see it's a little dot moving around and we'll just place it into the dock like so. As you can see our GPS is enabled, tapping that will now bring this up and you can just turn it off 
like that. In terms of our GPS, quick and simple. Don't worry guys, we are nearly done. Finally, we want to go into our lock screen to finish this amazing home screen off. So we'll scroll down, you want to go into the app called Widget Locker. Best, best lock screen app. As you can see, I've already set it up. Do not worry though, you'll just go Options, Settings. We'll go into first our look and feel. We want to select an alternative wallpaper and you'll just go and select your wallpaper. Alex C made a folder called lock screen and you just want to select the orange one, just that orange. As you can see it fits, so you just go save. Background tint, you want to take off your background tint, make it low as possible. Layout, you drag, I just drag that all the way to the bottom and you want to take off automatically determined grid size. I just made it a 12 by 12 and it's a lot easier to work with. You want to take off label shortcuts and you want to hide the notification bar. Next we'll go back and we'll go back again and it should be a blank screen. So all you have to do now is add the widget, the UCCW widget called lock screen and it'll pop up. We just have to resize it and it'll pop up like this. And finally for our custom slider that we have here, you want to hold down and choose custom slider. And next you want to choose your theme. You just want to have it something that's sliding across. So I chose this one, widget locker the I can't really pronounce that, but it's this one right here, don't worry. I'll provide a link for it. So you tap that. As you can see, it's not the same icon. So we want to slide it across and that'll enable us to change the icon. So you just go tap the icon and you want to choose gallery. Look for orange icons. You want to choose the big badass lock screen right there and you go save. You go done and there it is saved. So you just have to resize that however you want and it will now, let me just remove that, it will now unlock your phone, simple as that. Home screen done, video tutorial complete, sorry it's been a bit long, but it's Alex T, and with Alex T it is all or nothing. Thank you very much guys for watching, please subscribe to the channel, our numbers are continually growing, thank you very much guys for all your support, it's been tremendous. And yeah, you guys voted for long tutorials, so hopefully this has helped. And remember, don't just watch the first minute and skip to the end, that doesn't really help. You have to watch the full tutorial. Thank you very much guys, and I'll see you around next time. As you can see, I'm back in my humble abode, I was away on New Year's holiday, so yeah, I'm back guys. Thank you very much guys, see you around next time.